Mr. Garage here. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on the 2.1 liter four stroke series of Mercury outboards. I've got a Pro XS, beautiful engine back there on my Tracker V165WT. Going to go through how to do the oil change, what you need to do the oil change, and yeah, we're going to get on this. This is what you guys need to do an oil change. You need oil, you need a filter, and you need a piece of tube about two and a half, three feet long that's got a half inch inside diameter. I use a little Home Depot paint bucket that's clear. That kind of lets me see if there's any metal particulates or anything like that in my oil. Um, I use it kind of on almost everything I change oil on, but uh, good bucket, clean it out after you use it, wipe it down real good, and then and then drain your oil in that. So um, as far as oil is concerned, this engine calls for 10W30. I use a 1550. I use this stuff like Frank's Red Hot. It goes in everything. It goes in my quads. It goes in my compressors. It goes in pit bikes. It goes in my cars. It's a one-stop shop for oil here in the heat of Arizona. This works for me. I don't care what you use as long as you're doing proper maintenance on your motor and changing the oil um, on the basis it needs to be changed. Filter-wise, same thing. I did a cut open of the, the uh, Quicksilver filter or the Mercury filter that I got. I wasn't too impressed. I use Wix filters and all my stuff. Again, I don't care what you use just as long as you're doing your oil changes and maintaining your engine. But that's the filter I use on um, my outboard, my 115 Pro XS. It's a 2018 model. So yeah, uh, that's all the things you need. Let's get started. More than confident you guys can figure out how to get the cowl off, but uh, let's go through and just show you where everything is. Everything's in yellow with oil except the filter. So we got our oil fill cap. We have a dipstick tube to check our level. We have the oil filter itself. And down here we have our oil drain tube. So um, I'm going to start draining the oil and uh, I'll show you uh, how that works. All right, so we're going to come over here with our half inch drain tube attached. We're gonna hold on to the hose itself because as we turn this fitting, the hose is gonna to wanna to turn with it. And uh, we're just gonna keep on cranking this fitting until we get flow. So let's just slowly turn it so I don't scratch my motor. There we go. It'll start to come out now. And that's it. So we're just going to let it uh, drain out until that bucket's full. And uh, we will be back in just a minute. A quick little note, this outboard holds 5.2 quarts of oil. So we are draining and draining and draining. And hopefully we'll be done here in just a minute. Our oil is drained, as noted by the tube starting to clear up. There's nothing else really flowing down through here. A little residual left in here. Um, looks awful, but that's really not that old of oil. So just what happens to oil. Um, yeah, so we're going to do the reverse here. I'm going to put the camera down. i got to hold on to the hose. I'm going to tighten the fitting, get that all set up. And next we will go up and we're going to do the oil filter and refill the engine. 5.2 quarts. Super quick side note, so after we pull the tube, um, I just wad up a little piece of paper towel, shove it into the drain tube, and that just kind of soaks up any oil that may be leaking out over time. That way I don't end up with a little drip down the side of the outboard. Okay, we're going to change the oil filter. Not rocket science here. We're going to grab on the oil filter. We're going to twist like hell. And, and there she goes. Okay. And to get this off, I have a paper towel under here just in case we have any um, oil kind of draining out of the filter. This filter does have a very good anti-drain back system, but since the boat's been sitting about a month, I know, right, I need to get it back on the water. But uh, I doubt there's really any oil in this. Uh, for whatever reason, these, uh, these outboards don't hold a lot of oil in the filter. They drain back just over about a month, and they're pretty empty. So I don't expect we're going to get a big uh, downpour out of this filter. So let's take this guy off. Yeah, kind of as expected. Nothing really coming out. That's the inside of our filter. I'm gonna take it over on our bench, and with the new filter, we're gonna get some of our old oil, and we're gonna put it on the gasket lip. If you don't do this, and you're any kind of a technician, and you don't lube up the gasket, you're a jerk. I'm just saying. Always lube up the gasket. You don't want to crank it on with 
couple hundred foot pounds either. Get it really nice and tight. Make sure the gasket's all all lubed up, and that's really all you need to do. So, filter coming right back over here. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna take a paper towel out. That's plenty of gear to get that on tight. And I'm kind of a weirdo. I've got these little Neo magnets. And um, I know they make blankets and all this other stuff, but I have the, a lot of these magnets laying around. So I usually put a volley of these just on the side of the filter, kind of at the low spot. And they may help collect any uh, shavings or anything that may come through the filter and just helps collect them in a magnet. So that's what I do. Do whatever you feel like. So our last step, we're going to be filling it with oil. No idea why I'm doing this on video other than this is an oil change video, but uh, here we go. Pouring our Rotella in. Beautiful, golden, clean oil. Engine's going to love it. Always does. And that's it. We're going to fill it up. 5.2 quarts. And we will be done with the oil change. All done. It's full. We're going to grab our dipstick just to make sure. And uh, probably going to drip it. And uh, boom. There we go. We're going to put it down here. And look at that. Right to the full mark. We are perfect. Now, if you guys noticed, I did the majority of this oil change one-handed with a phone in my other hand recording this video. I have 100% confidence almost any of you can do this oil change with ease. So do this at home. Just maintain your own stuff. You don't got to take it in, but I guess if you... Do take it in, whatever. They don't void your warranty because you do your own oil changes, nothing like that. Just keep track of your maintenance, and uh, yeah, um, that's all there is to it. That's your oil change on your outboard. Mr. Garage here. I wanted to close out the video really fast with a promotion about my t-shirt and the organization that that t-shirt came from, Cast for Kids. If you guys have a boat and it's safe and you have the time, look up to see if there is a Cast for Kids event in your area. You're not going to be sorry. They, it is just an amazing experience. They put on a heck of an event and um, it's going to get kids out, get them fishing, doing things that, that they may never have the chance to do again. But again, I'm just promoting them. Cast for Kids, any of my boating videos, I'm going to try to end the video with this little promotion. But uh, seriously, guys, look it up online. Cast for Kids.